For the helical compression spring that we used during example 1, link below. What should the free length be to ensure that when the spring is compressed solid, the torsional stress does not exceed the yield strength? This is the second example for the mechanical springs main video. Link to that video and example 1 are in the description of this video. If we want the yielding to be impossible, we're gonna wanna make the maximum force that we found during example 1 to be the force that compresses the spring to its solid length. If the spring has reached its solid length with a force equal to Fs, increasing the external compressive load F even further would have no effect on the torsional shearing stress tau since the load would just be compressing the physical wire itself. When a spring with plain ends like this one is compressed to its solid length, its solid length will be equal to the total number of coils plus 1 times the diameter of the wire. It also means that this force Fs divided by the spring constant K is the maximum deflection and therefore the difference between the free length and the solid length. Solving for the free length L0 and substituting the values, we find that the free length is equal to 164.1 millimeters. Just to reiterate, with this free length that we design and have control over during the manufacturing process, the maximum force that will go into a torsional shearing stress will be that force that brings down the spring to its solid length. Increasing the compressive force past this point would only physically compress the music wire of the spring. Any free length greater than this one would require the force to the solid length to be higher and therefore cause yielding. For one more example on mechanical springs, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.